Good morning, Super Readers! Thank you for joining us in our Valley PBS classroom. I'm Mrs. Nix. I'm Mrs. Hammock. And I'm Mrs. O'Leary. This is a place for us to learn, practice, and grow our brains to become even stronger readers, writers, and mm -hmm. thinkers. Mm -hmm. So let's get started by warming up our brains with some ear training called Daily, Daily Phonemic, Phonemic Awareness. Awareness. Okay. So phonemic awareness is where we're practicing listening, training our ears, and listening to the different sounds. So today I want to kind of play a game. This Ooh. game is, I'm going to give you three words, okay. and I want you to listen to see if you can hear the one word that doesn't belong. So two okay. of them are going to have the same sounds. Now, I'm going to do a little bit of a throwback. We've practiced these in the past. Those are controlled oh, vowel yeah. sounds. All righty. So okay. that's going to be your little bit of a clue because that's going to be helpful. Thank you. These okay. can be a little mm -hmm. bit on the tricky side. Thank you. Okay. So let's go through. I've got three of them. Here we go. Verb, torn, her. Verb, torn, her. Okay, I think I got it. Okay. Okay, so her has the er, mm -hmm. and verb has the er, but torn has the or sound, so that is the one that does not match. Do you agree? I do. Yes, good, <laughs> good. That's it. Nicely done. Okay, how about this one? Arm hurt card. Mm. Arm, hurt, card. I think I'll try to take this one. Arm and card have the R sound, and hurt, er, 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 in the middle of the word is the er, hurt. So that's the one that doesn't belong? You are correct. Nicely Yay. done. I like how she put her two words that have the same sounds next to each other. That's mm -hmm. a great strategy to, tra to check, right? Okay, how about these words? Sport, corn, stir. Sport, corn, stir. Oh. A little get bit it? easier? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, what'd you get? Well, I got, if you say sport and corn, I hear the or in those words, but when you say stir, er, er, I hear er. So I think stir is the one that you take out. Um, and it's kind of hard for me sometimes because that sound, that sound spelling is in the middle of the word. And mm -hmm. sometimes I want to hear the beginning sound and the end, but I have to listen to the middle sound. That's true. Mm -hmm. that and I noticed those that two words. when they're right next to each yep. other in the list, yep. it is a little easier to hear it. Yep because then the last one doesn't match and it stands out a lot. <laughs> yeah. But that's a great thing to do while you're traveling in the car or you're standing mm -hmm. in line at Definitely. a grocery store, especially yeah. with our controlled words because they Whew. are kind of a little bit on the trickier yes, side they are. to hear those sounds. Mm -hmm. So let's maybe change gears a little yeah. bit and kind of do something a little fun. Okay, Maybe I have a question. Like, okay. Can your camel do a can-can? <laughs> I don't know. We're about to find out, I think, though. Make sure you've got some space. Okay, spread right. apart and get ready, because this one starts right away. <laughs> good for practicing staying on the beach. I agree. <laughs> me up. Absolutely. <laughs> Every morning. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get started with our word work and start with phonics. So okay. I'll see you guys later. Okay. okay. We'll okay. see ya. All righty. So remember, oh, it's Wednesday already. 
middle of the week and we are going to start with our phonics lesson and our focus sound is oi this week all this week and we're using our sound spelling card the boy card oi and the, there's two ways that you can spell that sound oi and one of them is with o i and the other one is o y when it comes at the end of a word or the end of a syllable so we've been practicing and practicing and here it's Wednesday and so we want to continue that so by the end of the week we really know that sound spelling pattern and we can detect it in words and read words. So I would love for my friends to come and join us when we blend and build words. Yay! Oh, good morning, Hi. Mrs. Hi. Hello friends, hello. Hi Rita, hi Tina. Hello. Good to see hello. you. Yeah. Okay. You want to do some blending? Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. So here's here. Look at this word up here. It's kind of a long one. Okay. So let's start here and start blending. You want to do it together, or would, would one of you want to take it? Do you think you're ready? Oh, I think I'm ready. Can Tina, I try you're it? ready. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. You've been paying attention okay. all week. Okay, I'm gonna do it down my arm. Broil, broil. Yeah. Broil. Oh, broil. Broil. Oh, broil. You know what? My mom likes to to broil some garlic toast in the oven. Mm. Oh, that's so mm. yummy. You make me hungry. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Did you get that, boys and girls? Did you get broil uh, when you were blending it? I hope so. All right, let's go on to our next word. A little bit shorter, a little bit easier. How about you, Rita? You want to tackle that one? Yeah, sure. Okay, go. Okay. Oi. Boy, 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 it's boy. Oh, yes. Yeah, Good just job. like just like here yeah. on the boy uh, sound spelling card. Boy, mm -hmm. yeah, boy, that's good. Boy, good job. Thank you. Good job. Okay, so let's blend a few words now. I mean, build a few words. Excuse me, we just okay. got done blending. Let's build a few. So if I'm thinking of point, Ooh. point. Mm. Okay, oh, can we blend that together? Point. Use some okay. of the letters. Okay. okay. Um, I hear a. P Yep. The beginning. Okay, so you penny. hear a yep, puh, and that beak. is what? That's a P? Uh -huh. Okay. Oi. Oi. That, that has to be the O I, because mm -hmm. it's in the middle of the word. Good mm -hmm. choices. So they yep. had to pick either one, O Y or O Y, and you got it, Rita, right there. Oi. That's that sneaky mm -hmm. in. That little sneaky mm -hmm. in. You got it right oh, there. Point. Point. Then it's your letter. My, my it's your letter. It's my letter. It's my T. Oh, are we done? Are no, we done? No, T no, no, the T. last one. That's right. Yeah. T for Tina. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and let's say it together. Point. 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 Very good. Point. Glad you're with us today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's sing a one more word. How about toil? Toil. Ooh, wow. It's kind of a different word. Yeah. But I think we can get it. Toil. Oh, that's tricky because do you hear? Listen, it says toy. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, because that makes me kind of want to put a Y, but I think you're right. It's in the middle. Mm hmm. So let's let's try it with O I. Okay. Okay. What's our first sound, though? What's our first letter? Well, my favorite letter is a T, so we have to start with a T. All right. And then I Oi. loved how you were talking and helping one another. That's the best way to learn. Um, and you came up with? Oh, I. Oh, I. Mm -hmm. Even though I, I was Even really struggling, you're... I was thinking it was a, a toy. A toy, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. So are we finished? Toy. Oh. Oh, we, we got to have an L. We got to have an L at the end. Very good building of this word. These are not easy words. I'm proud mm. of you two. Thank you. Toil. <laughs> Very nice. But you know, it's it's really easy when you really think about all the little sounds that we've been practicing all year. Yeah. I can't believe it, but we can we can do really hard things. Yes, we good. can. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. You're learning. Our brains yes. are getting stronger Strong. every day. Mm -hmm. It's important to tune in every day to Valley PBS and get and learn, isn't Absolutely. it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, friends. Okay. Uh, we'll see we'll you later. See you. Bye. Okay, bye. bye. All right, boys and girls, let's end our phonics lesson with a sentence and reading a sentence together. It's down here. Look at it for a second. I counted three words that had our focus sound in it. How many do you count? Can you see them? Can you figure out those words? Let's do it together. Roy is
is one, points is two, two, his choice is three. Roy points to his choice. Thank you. So um, now we're going to turn it over to Mrs. Hammock, who's going to help us with our high frequency words, which also helps us with reading too. Thanks. That's right. Remember, our high frequency words are those words that we need to know automatic, as fast as we know our names. That way we can save our brain power for sounding out words that we're trying to read or write. All right, so let's look at our high frequency words this week. New, build, toward, fall, money, and above. Today, we're going to focus on the word money. I know, it's one that you like, so make sure you know how to spell it. M-O-N-E-Y, money. Good, let's take a look at our sentence that we can use this word in. How much does it cost? Now, I could use that as a sentence just by itself would make sense, but I want to make sure I include my high frequency word. How much money does it cost? Now, I'm missing something here. What should I use at the end of this? That's right, I heard it. How is a question word, and so we need to end it with a question mark, and this is gonna be a really tight fit. Maybe I'll move my end of my sentence down here so we can see it. How much money does it cost? Great job. All right, so one of my favorite things to do on Wednesday is, that's right, whack a word Wednesday. So today we have our word money. And so I have two ways that I can do that. So this is just a pool noodle on a pencil. Cheap, easy, fun way to make a word hammer. And then these are really fun because when you bang them on something, they light up, isn't that fun? And this was just from the dollar store. So much fun. So you can choose what you use. And if you don't have either one of these, you can use something else. All right, so let's find our word money. Here we go, I gotta find the M, then the O, then the N, oh, did you see that? They're all in a row. And then an E, and then a Y. Wow, did you notice? Three of our letters are in the same row. One of them's in the top, and one of them's in the bottom row. That's pretty tricky. So, Whack a Word Wednesday is a fun way to practice your high frequency words. All right, so now it's time for us to hear a story. Today, we're gonna hear a story about bridges, building bridges. Doesn't that sound cool? I can't wait to see what happens in this story. I'll see you back here in a minute. Building bridges. What kinds of bridges are there? How are they built? People build bridges to get from one point to another. Bridges go across water or land. They can be miles long or only a few feet. Let's look at some of the world's most interesting bridges. Captions. 1,125 feet. This bridge in France goes across a wide valley. It is the highest car bridge in the world. The Sunshine Skyway Bridge in Florida stretches for four miles. This is a cable-stayed bridge. Sturdy wires help this bridge stay up. The wires are joined at tall towers so they don't fall. Caption, this bridge is made of steel and concrete. An arch bridge is like an upside-down U. This bridge has two big arches for boats to go through. The arches are the same size, which helps balance the bridge. This bridge in Italy is made of brick, so it is really sturdy. Caption, this bridge is more than 2,000 years old. The Firth of Forth Bridge in Scotland is a truss bridge. It is built above a river. 
Do you see the triangles? The roadway needs to be supported. The triangle tubes support it. The triangles join each section of the bridge. Caption, this bridge is made of steel. Cars pay a toll or money to cross the Golden Gate Bridge in California. This suspension bridge has cables. The cables are supported by towers. Why is the bridge painted a bright color? The builders knew it must stand out in the fog, so they avoided colors like gray and painted it joyful orange. Caption, the Golden Gate Bridge is a famous symbol of the United States. Some bridges are one of a kind. Rolling Bridge is in London, England. What happens when a boat comes toward the bridge? The bridge rises up and curls into a circle. Then the boat can pass. There are many kinds of bridges. What kind of bridge can you think up? Caption, the bridge is flat so that people can cross. Captions, when a boat passes, the bridge begins to move. Then the bridge becomes a circle. Now, wasn't that amazing, all of those different bridges? Ah, oh, man, there are some of them I've never heard of before, but they're really fascinating to learn about. So today, with some of our comprehension, I want us to kind of switch our brains just a little bit. And I want us to think about why the author made some choices in the text that he wrote. Okay, what do I mean by that? Let me look at our question that's right here. So it says, why does the author ask and answer questions in the text? Did you notice that as you were listening to today's text? Did you hear some of the questions that were being asked? Okay, so it says reread pages 264 through 266 and talk about the questions. Where can you find the answers? And use some clues from the questions and answers to write why each of the bridges are special. So to help me do that, I think we're gonna call our friend Rita and see if she can come and help us. So come on, Rita. You wanna come and help just a little bit today? Yep, yep. Okay, perfect. So Rita, we aren't really rereading the stories to necessarily find the answers. We kind of are trying to think of why would the author ask questions and give us some answers in the text. So do you want to help me reread some of these pages? Yeah. To see if we can find what the questions even say? Sure, because I, I love to read. Okay. So let's look at this very first one right here. Okay. Um, now, this one is called Firth, the fourth bridge. Firth? <laughs> is that silly? It's like a tongue twister. It kind of is. But Firth, the fourth bridge. Let's find out about that one. Let's see if we can find the author's question there on that page. Can you can you read it a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. The Firth of Fourth Bridge in Scotland is a truss bridge. It is built above a river. Do you see the triangles? Ooh, hang on. Was that a question? Yeah, yeah, I see the question mark. Okay, so do you see the triangles? Do you hear that the author is asking us? Mm -hmm. Well, do we see them? Uh, yep. Ooh, yeah. Right Lots here. of them. Ooh, so I can go up here and I can look in the picture, right? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, all right. So, uh, yeah, I do. I see the triangles. Okay. The roadway needs to be supported. The triangle tubes support it. The triangles join each section of the bridge. Okay, so actually we were able to answer the question as well with some additional information. So we used our picture and some information down here. So yeah. the, the triangles help to hold up the bridge. Yeah, that's okay. pretty cool. Yeah. All right. You want to help me with this one here? Yeah. This one's the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, so and pretty. That's here in California, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So Let's go through and let's read this one just a okay. little bit. Let's look for the question. Cars pay a toll 
or money to cross the Golden Gate Bridge in California. This susp suspension bridge has cables. The cables are supported by towers. Why is the bridge painted a bright color? Ooh, there's our question. Yeah. Why is the bridge painted a bright color? Hmm. hmm. I don't know. I don't either, but I do see the bright color, mm -hmm. so the picture didn't really help me. Let's keep reading. Maybe it'll okay. tell us. The builders knew it must stand out in the fog, mm. so they avoided colors like gray and painted it joyful orange. Absolutely. Ah! I so, like the name of that color. Yeah, so they, they made it bright orange so that people could see it. Yeah. That's great. Now, this very last one, I'm going to give us a clue. It has our, our question right at the very end. So you want to read just the question for us? Sure. It says, what kind of bridge can you think of? You know what? I pointed out the wrong spot, Miss Rita. It's right up here. Oh, it says, oh yeah. <laughs> It says, what happens when a bridge comes to, or when a boat comes toward the bridge? Ooh. So when we look at this picture, we can say, well, I don't know what happens. It just happens. looks like a bridge. It just looks like a bridge. <gasps> but we can use our what? pictures and our words to help us figure out what is going on? That's amazing. It looks like a roly poly. It does look like a roly poly. And so this particular bridge, it lifts up and rolls to look just like that. So why would the author include these types of questions and answers using the pictures and words? So we put on here, the author asks and answers questions to help me learn about what makes each bridge special. Did we learn about the bridges today? Definitely, Absolutely. and especially what is different and special about each one. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Well, you know what? I appreciate your help today. Thank you so much. I'm going to take my readers over and we're going to do just a little bit of writing okay, today. Okay, bye. We'll see you. So, all those bridges were really amazing. Which bridge do you think was the most interesting and why? So I bet you have some ideas about which one you think was the most interesting. I'm going to just start right here because I had one too. Now this is an opinion, so there's really not a right or a wrong answer. You could write about any of them. So let's write about this one. In my opinion, Rolling Bridge in London is the most interesting bridge. Now I was able to tell you which one was most interesting. Did I give you a why? Let's see if our friend can help us come out with a why. So, Miss Rhonda, do you want to come and see? Can you help us come up with a why? Why was the rolling bridge in London well, interesting? I sure can. I love to give my opinion. Oh. I, I think maybe this bridge rolls up and turns itself into a circle. <gasps> Is that what it did? Yes. So, could we put that here? Absolutely. So, we could say... The bridge rolls up and turns itself into a circle. Now, did we answer our question? Which is the most interesting and why? We sure did. Now, we could go through and add more to it, but I think for today, we're going to leave it right there, and I'm going to kick it over to an awesome uh, reader who's going to tell us about a book. We'll see you in a second. Bye. Good morning. My name's Felicia. And I just read the story called The Perfect Nest by Catherine Friend. It's about a cat named Jack who tries to build the perfect nest for chickens to lay eggs because he's hungry for omelets. I like nests. It's, a, it's about these animals on a farm and, they, and a goose and a duck and they come and they lay eggs in his perfect nest. But something else happens and Jack the cat ends up with more than he bargains for. If you like farmyard stories like me, and nests, nests are so cozy, read to find out what happens in the perfect nest. Thanks for watching, Valley PBS.
Bye, Felicia. That was fantastic. I want to read all about that so nest. Cute. Yes. Mm -hmm. All the things you can put in there. Perfect. Oh my golly. Nest. So cute. Okay. I have a joke. Oh, okay. Hey. Okay. Knock, knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Butter. Butter, Butter who? who? Butter bring your umbrella. It looks like rain. Oh, oh. my goodness. <laughs> I thought that was awesome. It's great. It was. Oh. Hey, you know what? Thanks for hanging yeah. out with us today at Valley PBS. We look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow. Have you a sure great do. one. Bye-bye. Take your umbrella. <laughs>